there's a few different variations of the Corpse Explosion Necromancer. There's the Bone, there's my favorite, the Summoning Necromancer, but recently I kind of found a D-Web, an absolute god-tier item, and it is awesome for that Poison Nova Necromancer. I've been using the Chaos Sanctuary recently. I actually did 14-hour drop highlights. Video is going to be coming out real soon, but I realized, hey, I've never done a build guide for a Poison Nova Necromancer. So that's what's coming right at you, right at you, today. Alrighty, so we'll start off with the stats. It's kind of the go-to super quick. For this particular style, I'm going with just enough strength to wear your gear. So you got to get over 156 to where you see right here a Monarch that I'm using. No extra points into Dexterity. Vitality, I dumped everything else and no extra into Energy. You see the resistances are not very high. I use different types of summons in order to block everything. So you are a little bit at risk, but it was not too bad. So that's just what I decided to go with, not to sacrifice any of the damage or the magic find for extra safety. I decided to, to prioritize those two instead. Now when we go ahead and take a look at the skill tree, and we go ahead and we'll just look at the summons first. You can see all the stuff, everything that has a 17 on it, I put one point into. So straight down the right here, Skeleton, Skeleton Mage, and Revives. I actually use Revives most of the time because they will stay alive for that uh, 180 seconds, I suppose. So you bring them up a couple different times in the game. Skeletons get slapped down with no extra points into them. So just one point into Revives, you'll be a-okay. You can see I got one point into Clay Golem, Blood Golem, and then I obviously use an Iron Golem. I think you've seen him walking around here a little bit. Uh, and just one point into that, and I'll explain why in a second. We got one into Summon Resistance, but you've seen I actually maxed out Golem Mastery. Golem Mastery adds to the Iron Golem's life, keeping him alive. You don't want him dying all of the time. And then you see you actually get no extra life from the Iron Golem. So that's why I went ahead and maxed out the, the, Iron, the Golem Mastery. Excuse my stutter there for a second. We go over to Curses, and you can see this is all just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 to get down to lower resistance here. And the way I'm doing this build right now, all my remaining points that I get from here on out, I put into this just to kind of increase the radius on that is the main thing that it does at this point so uh, that's where i went with that that definitely uh, minuses the poison resistance down just adding a bunch to your damage once you come over here one point into bone armor obviously for a necromancer and then you can see we got one into teeth only one into corpse explosion there is an argument to be made to put more points in the corpse explosion to get more radius on that to hit more monsters i went the way of getting more radius on my lower resistance instead of this so I didn't have to cast it six times and miss some monsters and forget this and why is this one not dying faster as, as the other one so uh, I went ahead and maxed out poison dagger obviously poison explosion and poison nova because that's the main point of the build the poison novas so and those other two are synergies to it so that covers the skill tree we'll go and take a look at the gear now and there are a few different options I'm going to try to go over them quick so the video doesn't take four hours but there are a few different whether it's budget or just max minus poison resistance or max damage type builds and stuff like that instead of having magic find on your character now first of all the main reason I was using this in the cast sanctuary I wanted to use this d-web I had found it my first time ever finding a d-web in my life so I wanted to put it to use other options obviously you could go with the, the straight up just take your caster gear right off your hammer or your sorceress and throw it right onto your necro and you can get away with that so you have a hoto up here or something like that a spirit as a budget option a bunch of different other options like that there coming out on the gloves you're never going to use anything else besides trangs especially for a poison necro or any necro for that matter and most casters really but this the 25 poison skill damage really just slaps on this of course and you get the curses and the castrate and the cold res of course on the rings here we've got the stone of jordan and a raven frost Pretty common options. If you want to get your FC FCR higher to get a better break point, the 125 perhaps, this build only hits the 75 the way I got it, but that's A-OK -okay with poison. Uh, you can go ahead and throw some FCR rings on there if you want to. Here we've got the Arachnids mesh. Uh, other options, you could throw a piece of the Trang set on here if you're going for the partial or full set bonuses, or if you just want to get your Cannot Be Frozen that way because that belt does have Cannot Be Frozen. I got a teleport around. If you got that Enigma, I'm throwing it on there for sure. Everything on the Enigma is nasty, obviously. You can go ahead and throw Trang's armor on there if you're going for a any version of the partial or the full Trang set as well. Up at the Shaco, Shaco is really a go-to for almost every single caster character or magic finder in the game. There is, I believe, the Trang set for the helmet, right? So that would be one of the other pieces if you're going for the full set, throw that on there. But I would never throw the helmet one on there unless you're specifically going for the full set and or you don't have a Shaco. Amulet, we got Amara's, great option. 
everyone uses Mars all the time if you can get one, or a caster amulet could also be just as good and or better depending on how good of one you can get your hands on or craft or trade for or whatever. Over on the shield here, we got a Spirit Monarch, obviously. There is another piece of the Trang set you can throw over here, and I will mention, very, very popular, especially kind of budget or just trying to get more minus Poison Res, you can throw the head over here on the shield slot, the belt, and the gloves to get a three-piece Trang set, and that will give you minus a bunch of enemy Poison Resistance. I don't remember exactly how much it is, if it's 25, if it's 40, I, I can't remember offhand exactly, but uh, Editor Phil, maybe throw it up, boom, right up over here or something, huh? Down on the boots, you can go on War Travs, get more Magic Find. Any of the boots that you would normally throw on any caster, really. Rare boots, Tri-Res boots, you could throw on uh, Silk Weaves, you could throw on Water Walks, a bazillion different options there for the boots. On Switch, obviously, we got the Call to Arms and the War Axe like a boss. I like using different bases for things, that's why this is in a War Axe and this is in a Wormhide. Just to be a little bit different here. And obviously, a CTA and a Spirit, just like almost every single character in the game. Down on here... Go ahead for charms, poison, and bone skillers if you got them. Geeds, Torch, and Annie, of course. You can throw down here life and res charms if you want to to boost up the survivability. You did see my resistances were pretty low, so you can get better with that. Just throwing some charms down here if you would really like to. Personally, I used to have a bunch of magic find charms in here really boosting up the MF, but I didn't put them in here right now. I transferred them all over to a different character to use and didn't bring them all back, but your magic find would be boosted up significantly if you filled that up and put your cube in here or something like that. Now, you see him walking around here. We'll talk about the mercenary and the golem. I went with the insight mercenary. That way I can get that meditation aura, and that way I don't have to have that on my mercenary. I can actually throw something else on a mercenary to help out my character a little bit. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the mercenary right now, and we'll open it up, and I actually have infinity, and I know what's going to come here, the comment, actually conviction, Phil, doesn't help out for poison. Well, that is true, but corpse explosion is half physical and half fire, so the conviction aura will boost up half of the corpse explosion damage. I would say that's a better option than throwing some other thing over, whether you're throwing obedience or just not doing an iron golem and just having your insight over here. If you can do this, it is a little bit of a boost. Maybe it's a bit overkill. I wouldn't specifically go out and trade for a couple burr runes or for an infinity because it's not going to help that much, but it definitely does help the clear speed for sure with the corpse explosion. Once again, I went through it in an in a ethereal man catcher because from what i've heard haven't done the math yet or anything myself but i had heard that because of the increased attack speed from the base speed and the crushing blow you actually get more dps or damage per second from using an ethereal man catcher as compared to we'll say an ethereal gray poleaxe or an ethereal thresher i have not done the math myself but i decided also just i like using different bases here now that you can make stuff in different things so since you can make infinity and a spear, I went with it. Over here, I just kind of got a budget kind of set up here. Treachery and Tal's Mask for the armor and the helmet. Obviously, Andaril's Visage with a Ral Rune or something along those lines. A jewel knocking, boosting up that fire res, getting rid of that uh, negative on the helmet. And a Fortitude is kind of the go-to, and I would much rather be using that right now. That's the absolute best, but... It is what it is. I just went with budget, and he never really has a problem, for the most part. Now, important to mention, this is a might mercenary, not a cold mercenary like you'd have on a lot of other things, and that is because, obviously, boosting up the damage of the mercenary, but also you don't want all the corpses shattering because you either want to revive them, to have your revives running around you to, to kind of protect you, or have corpses to blow up and kill monsters faster. So don't go with the cold one. Go with the might one. And that's other another important reason why I went with Infinity over Obedience. Obedience has cold damage on it. Um, I don't remember exactly if Insight has cold damage on it. Nope. I don't believe it does, but I know specifically Obedience definitely does. So that's why you go ahead and go with that. So it only got 206 on the Magic Find, but like I said, you'd have another 50 or 75 Magic Find if you filled up with Magic Find Charms on there. 250, between 250 and 300 is perfectly fine. A little bit higher is good too, but this is perfectly acceptable. You can see down here we got to the 175 breakpoint. You can try to push for the 125 Caster Amulet, Cast Rate Rings, things along those lines. Or if you have to throw in a Viper Magi, another budget option for the army, you can get up there a little bit higher a little bit easier, but 75 is perfectly acceptable. If I took some other stuff off to get my more minus enemy poison res, like throwing the helmet on over here in order to, uh, it would get more minus poison res, but your FCR would drop. I didn't like the feel of that teleporting around, I'm perfectly honest, so that's why I decided to get up to there. 
And you can see we got cannot be frozen, minus 49 enemy poison res, plus to poison skill damage. So that's the Poison Necromancer. If you want to see any of the gameplay, I, there was a little bit at the start, or when it, the video does come out, I'll put a link at the top of the description to my Poison Nova Necromancer in the Chaos Sanctuary drop pilots, and you can see it just melting down monsters in there. So thanks for watching the video. Like button, subscribe up if you haven't done so already. Peace out! And don't forget, fellas, keep saluting!